So here is the uh, latex rubber um, liquid that I put on here. So basically I'm just going to be brushing these on here and I'm just using this styrofoam thing to poke holes in so they can sit in there and dry. So I'll start a couple and then uh, just show you as I'm going along. Okay, so one done, trying to do as much coverage as possible. And um, I'm just going to stick it in here and continue with the others. So I decided it was easier to get these things in here to paint them, so I'm going to work on that. Okay, <clears throat> I am basically done with um, trying to get as much coverage as possible on these. So, so basically what it's doing is um, filling in the gaps of the, um, the wire, allowing me to be able to paint this better on top of the rubber once it dries. And again, being able to move it afterwards if I need to move the, um, the branches. Um, you could put other stuff on here, but then you're not going to be able to move it afterwards. But if I wanted to do a tree like with um, more detail um, or that the tree is the main focus, I would probably do plaster or something like that on top of the branches. Um, but I've never tried that before, so but that could be a future project. So. I'm going to let these dry and I'm going to show you the 3D, um, I printed a couple 3D ones too. So, so here are um, some of the 3D um, trees I printed. They're kind of small. Don't know if I'm going to use them or reprint some to put in this diorama. But I will check them out and see if they're to scale. But basically I'm going to paint these and uh, add flock to them. But I will show that tomorrow um, when... Um, I let the other ones dry and, and then I'll paint them. So that's enough for the trees for tonight. Till tomorrow.